how's it going? Yeah, good, good. Yourself? I'm doing great. Thank you very much for taking time to do this interview. No worries, no worries, man. Well, it's awesome to be able to talk to you and be able to talk about such a great album that I have been able to experience for uh, the past few weeks now. Uh, it's great to see Insomnium in top form, being able to see, uh, uh, being able to hit the uh, conceptual route once again and being able to put what I think might be the best work that you guys have done to date so far w with this album. I, I love the variety. I, I love the story. I love everything that's going on with it. And I'm so glad to be able to talk to you about all of it. Well, that's, that's really nice of you. Thank you. Thank you very much. And I'm great to hear that you really like the album and, and you know, you like the diversity and the story and everything. So that's, that's great. Oh, absolutely. So with that in mind, like, how did this whole album come to be? How did it all start? Well, I mean, like, it was kind of post-pandemic or or we were in the middle of pandemic still kind of thinking what to do with the band. Like, you know, no one knew what are the kind of perspectives of, of going on tour or does it, does it make any sense to make an album, release an album and, and what's going to happen with our lives? Um at some point, we decided to just kind of okay, we'll we'll just kind of get on with it and then start writing stuff, and and then start come up with material from from all spectrum through the whole spectrum. So light stuff, heavier stuff, and we got the idea to do EP first. We did then sort of lighter stuff, and then so like let's do something something different, just in the inside of being, and let's see what happens with the world. If you can do some touring with that, if if everything goes well, and then we did that. And then we ended up like having excess material. So we just love, well, let's just push on and undo an album and, and kept writing and writing. And at the same time, Nilo came up, up the idea, <laughs> came up the idea of, of perhaps using a longer story as a sort of backdrop for the album again. And and, and kind of introduced us the idea and the concept. And, and, and everybody liked that. We've read the first version and, and then we can start to kind of build this kind of puzzle and six of like putting everything together like how what will fit um musically together what sort of part and um we still kept writing new stuff and um until the end we, we had this kind of story and um songs and uh, we kind of tried to kind of fit all them together have sort of nice narrative lyrically but also musically so you kind of engage in a nice story and and, and that's it really and that's what we've been doing for the past past year really Oh, and it's it's just so incredible to see that too. I mean, especially with you know the dark times that we had been living in over the past few years, being able to do some great things out of it, like uh, the killer EP that you were able to put out, and now a full blown uh, conceptual piece like this, and just seeing all of it just come out of just like uh, trying to find something to do in the meantime and trying to figure out what to do, and it, it's just it's awesome to me because. Uh, I was uh, fortunate enough to be able to uh, check out the English translation of the story yeah. and I was able to read through it and I was able to appreciate everything so much more. And the fact that there's so much detail in the story, there's so many great twists that you don't see coming, especially when you read the story and then you're yeah. able to hear the music to go along with it. It just, it feels like you put so much work and so many years into this album. And the fact that it was able to come together like this is incredible. Yeah, I'll be like... I guess like it's just kind of mainly the experience we kind of like putting together albums for so long. So in the end of the day, you're not kind of you're not reinventing the wheel every time. You kind of, you know, you have the same sort of musical elements, some lyrics around you, you have some visual image, you kind of try to build some sort of like storyline using using both visual and lyrical and musical themes and the arsenal you have. And I think it's kind of just result of like maybe maybe we're also you know you you're lucky that everything fits together and 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 then then you've been kind of working hard and thinking and and how to do it best way and and you know all, all the kind of experience we've had been working with other other albums have also kind of helped and and kind of led us to this moment putting everything together now for this album so yeah definitely it's great to see something positive coming from those two dark years of, of kind of mainly boredom, but, but, you know, also lots of casualties and, 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 you know, it wasn't, it was a nice time. 
Oh, for sure. And, you know, just like you said, I mean, I'm glad that there is some positivity that comes through this. And I've seen so many great bands and artists being able to release great music over uh, last year. And I know coming out this year as well, too. I mean, especially with uh, things they were able to do during the, uh, the pandemic times and just seeing the the output that has been going on is just incredible. And again, just seeing uh, again, like I mentioned in, in the beginning, the diversity that you've been able to pull off uh, between the EP and now the full album here and just being able to see things that you know just like it hits like doom territory it hits like a classic insomnia moments it hits new territories uh very unexpected twist musically as well too which i really appreciate and it just it makes for that great fun experience from start to finish and then you throw the story on top of that it's just it's got that instant replay value to me yeah well that, that's really good to see um well, it's gonna be interesting to see how how it kind of plays plays out with sort of like traditional insomnium fun fan and and our, our, you know not every sometimes you know as a fan you like certain style of albums fans put out and and you know every every fan is 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 like that to some degree like you know I've, I haven't listened Iron Maiden new albums because I don't need to <laughs> they kind of like done everything they. <laughs> they can do in my eyes and, and i'm gonna just stick with the old old stuff i like and then you know that's my sort of limitation in in, in regarding the tap band and then i'm sure like some people might see that it's too diverse like why why can't they do more this stuff or other stuff you did previously and then, then then there's people like you who appreciate that diversity so you know i think partly that diversity comes like you're listening to so different many types of music you kind of appreciate and then you know you get older you you fuck less about anyone else but what they're thinking so you kind of like do what what feels good for your or in your eyes or in your ears so so you know you don't really care and of course like you have four some writers in the band so everybody's doing things a bit differently even though we kind of aim for the same sort of like in some type sound we come from different musical backgrounds and then have different ways of writing music. So that kind of adds, adds to the diversity as well. Oh, yeah. And, you know, along with that as well, too, I mean, especially with how long the band has been going, uh, being able to see uh, different lineup changes that have happened, uh, you know, just experiences of life in general, you know, just uh, not losing that authenticity, which is what I hear in Insomnia with every single release, like every release that you put out feels like it's meant to be that collection of material at the time and sometimes that's going to be a little more diverse sometimes it's going to have that classic sound to it sometimes it's just going to be different and i i love the fact that with every release and especially here that you're just making the music that you want to make i mean you don't feel like you have to be pressured i mean this i mean especially with doing a conceptual album and in the style that insomnium is known for i mean you know it's that can be a risk in and of itself but it's something that you wanted to do and to me it paid off so well that's nice to hear i think i think it's just like i think it was like the winter skate um when he had this uh, like one song volume in his that was like okay if we can pull pull off this we can you know we can do whatever and then we can like think with this release as well like should we just just be aim for like double lp or what what should we do like we have lots of material should we just keep on writing more or what to do and then and then we still end up like okay let's just do one album and then and sort of one 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 ep but like leave like we kind of left three songs to the ep as well so it almost clocks 20 minutes as well so you know there's sort of like this sort of value for your money and then you know you can you can play that when you're walking somewhere or driving to work or one hour so so 20 minutes is nice chunk of music to experience so so yeah i i mean like yeah as you say like you know we don't really mind too much like we, we mainly we want to please ourselves when, when we're making music and, and, and then then you know record company might say like this would be a good signal and, and we, we, we're normally quite fine with that like we don't really you know that's that's your job you're you're marketing our stuff we just <laughs> focus on on writing the music and i'm putting it together and then we listen listen to you on that front so 
Well, I will say on on that front, I I, I really do like the videos that were created for uh, the singles. I I think they just represent uh, both parts of the stories that have been shown off so far, and you know just uh, being able to see you guys playing along with that, and of course the story going along with that. It's just it's a great atmospheric uh, feeling between both singles, and it's so cool to see that. Cool, cool, yeah. It... It's been really nice to work with this video company, the Finnish guys called Rivata, and, and, and they've been really nice, and, and they've they've got the idea, and, and they've 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 enjoyed making the videos as well, and, and we still have one one coming coming along, um, which will which will be something different as well. So so hopefully people will like that as well. Oh, that's got me excited. I was curious if there was going to be any more videos along with it. And, you know, again, you know, just like, a, you know, visually I was able to read, you know, the story and just uh, being able to see uh, the, the full thing going along with that. So I'm able to have that appreciation, but also seeing, you know, visually in front of me in person, being able to see different parts of the story being translated. I'm, I'm glad to see that there will be another single to be able to show off a little bit more. Yeah, this this can be one more, one more video. Um towards the close to the date when we're going to put out the album and and, and I, it's going to be again something different but I'm, I'm pretty sure it will look pretty cool and, and show a different side of the story again so so hope hope you guys will like it oh absolutely and you know i gotta imagine along with that as well too i mean of course with uh how different the album can feel from start to finish and being able to see all these different emotions that's going through and uh musically everything that's going on i imagine that's going to be fun for you as well in the live setting as well too being able to switch things up when it comes to the set list yeah that definitely it's, all, it's always always nice to kind of bring bring new material in and then properly We'll, we'll see if we're gonna be playing the whole album from from beginning of the end uh, or what's gonna happen with the, with the shows this year. It depends on the tours and it depends on on shows but but normally we've been kind of playing the whole album quite quite a few times the best albums live when when we can release that so so that that should be a fun experience and then yeah, the songs work really really well live as well so it's been really nice to rehearse them at the rehearsal place so. So it's been it's been really cool. So so yeah, we're all looking forward to kind of bring it bring it live to to everywhere. Oh, that's so great to hear. And you know, I just kind of mentioned you know just the the fact that you're able to go back out there and play live shows again after it's been taken away. And you know, uh, you got so much material that you're able to choose from to be able to play live. Whether you are able to do the full album, whether you're just able to play a couple singles, headlining shows, or opening sets. I mean, there's so many different variables. But just getting back out there and playing has just got to be a good feeling. Yeah, it's a good feeling. It's it's nice to be there, do 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 things what you used to do. And, and and of course, like you know, most of the band is is also important financially to to get there and then earn, earn their keep and a living. So so it's in, in important um, in many many respect. Oh, for sure. And you know, again, I I do love the fact. That, I mean, you did bring it up. Uh, the, the, you know, the fact that you do write material that is meant to be played in a live setting and can be played in a live setting. And you know, it's just like uh, if you do get the opportunity to be able to play this album in that live setting that's just going to be incredible but also you know just like especially from like the singles that have been chosen so far and whatever the the third uh release will be you know it's just like the songs also stand on their own as well too which is so great yeah. to hear like uh when i first heard uh, heard the first single i mean that sounded so good on its own but then when i hear it a part of the album it just fits together so well so i can imagine that works in the live setting as well yeah 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 so so you definitely kind of get these sort of uh trios or or pairs of song that kind of fits really well together live as well and, and then then you also make sort of like weird twists where you combine new songs with old material and kind of works together well really well as well so so i, I think you know you know time will tell which of the songs will kind of stay living and, and what sort of mix will be the kind of for the next two three years what, what sort of mix will be out there and, and definitely we, we need and I want to mix it up a bit every now and then because there's so many so many songs to play and and, and you know you you want to kind of keep it interesting yourself as well so so kind of like yeah mix it up a bit 
Oh, for sure. And I also got to mention that's also going to be happening with stage show as, as well, too. I mean, um, when I'm thinking of the album cover, it just like it it's astounding how it looks and it just fits so perfectly with the story and music that I just imagine just like the whole thematic feel uh, is going to be well represented, uh, whether it's in the T-shirt designs or uh, bass drum heads or whatever the case will be. Just being able to see that uh, on stage is going to be so cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we began just like thinking and designing the stage props for the new new album and what to what's gonna come along with them with the next sort of stage production. So it's been it's been really really kind of cool. And, and I think the visuals we have for the album they're gonna be really they work really nice visually also as the backdrop side drops and um, sort of graphic graphical outfits. So so it should be we should be able to create a really nice atmosphere. Oh, for sure. And that's got me excited for the next opportunity you come back to North America and I'm able to uh, see you guys. And of course, with that, you guys are a part of a great North American tour that's going to be happening quite soon with uh, another one of my favorite bands who I'm sure is going to be releasing another killer album this year with Enslaved. Yeah, yeah that's it. So we're going to be starting the touring from the state side this, this time around. Uh, I'm going to do a few... Uh, release shows in Finland, but then it's going to be US tour, lots of summer festivals, Europe in autumn. Who knows what's going to happen? But but yeah, tour as much tour as much as possible now to be able to do that. And and, and yeah, hope hope we get a get nice following crowds, and then people will enjoy enjoy the songs live as well. Oh, for sure. And what I do love about you guys, like every time I've ever been able to uh, catch you guys in the live setting is you're always a part of such a great bill where it's a great contrast in sound. I mean, whether you're playing with Epica, whether you're playing with Omnium Gatherum, whether you're playing with Enslaved, like it's bands that are different enough, but they they feel so compatible with Insomnium. And it's great to see you a part of these great tours. And it's just it makes for a fun night every time. Yeah. Yeah, I, I agree. Like sometimes you don't have necessarily say what sort of tours are going to be happening. So it's just like, you know, there's a lot of luck or coincidence involved in what sort of tours you end up doing. I think they enslaved one. I think it's a really, really nice fit. So we played with them a few shows back in the 2006, just before we did the Saturigan tour. So so we, we've seen them live and, and those they're really good. They were really good back in then. And I think they kind of moved along or kind of developed maybe a bit same way. Like they started from more kind of black metal and they've gone more kind of progressive, progressive sound. We started more kind of uh, melodic death metal background, but we also kind of gone more kind of progressive, even maybe black metal sound in some respect. So we kind of moved from our comfort zone. Both bands have moved from comfort zones and are quite interesting, I think, artistically. So, so it's going to be good mix, I think. Um, and then, yeah, definitely something um, good shows for sure. And hopefully we'll get lots of crowds. Oh, absolutely. And I'm glad to see that you're going to be hitting my area in Minnesota as well. So I'm hopefully going to be able to catch that. And I know it'll be a fun night. I mean, just uh, yeah. seeing you you two together, two of my favorite bands playing together in the same night. I mean, I can't ask for much more than that. That's good to hear, man. That's good to hear. Oh, for sure. And of course, uh, like you mentioned as well, too, uh, the, the summer festival circuits. I mean, uh, you know, just uh, the fact that that's opened back up, that you're going to be able to be a part of that, being able to show off so much new uh, material that you're able to choose from, of course, playing the classics, but of course, uh, being able to show off the new material and just being able to go from all these different venues as well, too, whether it's more intimate, whether it's something as huge as the summer festival circuits, uh, you know, it's just like you're able to adapt that sound and whether I'm seeing YouTube videos of you guys playing uh, the festival circuit, or I'm seeing it right in front of me, 20 feet away. It's just, it's so cool to see how you can adapt to all of that. Yeah, I mean, I mean like, I guess we kind of grown to play both sort of things, like really massive stages on, on festivals where you don't have time for sound check, and um, it might be really sunny, and then, you know, you don't have that feeling. Uh, you might have not slept a lot when traveling, and um, and then that that's that's a sort of those shows can be much harder sometimes to kind of like look big in a really big stage, uh, and and then get the crowd going when when it's sunny and then you know everybody just like 
thinking about drinking beer and then having fun and then not, not getting doom doomy and gloomy. Um then in contrast playing playing shows uh in, in smaller clubs, you know, those are gonna be more more atmospheric and it's easy to kind of get people into that sort of mood this music kind of needs. So, you know, but we've been doing both both types of shows a lot. So so you kind of like you kind of find your groove after a while and then you can kind of live with both situations. With the clubs, it's much easier, I would say, compared to the festivals, big festivals, especially during the day. Oh, yeah. And when you are in those intimate settings, like you can literally see the people like right in front of you and you're able to enjoy it that much more. I mean, stage lights aside, depending on the situation, but, you know, it's just like you're able to see how they are interacting with the music. And, you know, yeah. I just imagine with the, the with the festival shows, you know, just like seeing the thousands upon thousands of people, you know, it's just like that can be overwhelming, especially if you are playing in the afternoon or uh, yeah. right before uh, it starts to get dark, you know, it's you know, it's like you can set the tone and I know sometimes the sun can ruin that, but yeah. I, I think you guys have uh, done some stuff when it uh, involving like a dying sun and things like that. So, you know, yeah. you've been able to adapt to those situations. Yeah. Yeah. And you, you just have to, you, you can't do anything with the weather and, 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 and you know, it, it's just what it is. So, so you, you just go with the flow and then go, what do you have? So, so, you know, that, that's, that's what you learn as well. That's the experience you, you survive and make most of it situation oh absolutely and you know it's just like it's it's so great to be able to hear you talk about that it's just like i can hear that you are happy to be able to uh talk about the album talk about these experiences that you're uh soon to be going on and being able to promote everything in the world of insomnium and yeah it's just it's been a fantastic time being able to talk to you about all of it uh, again like uh even though it's early in the year i feel like this is going to be one of my favorite albums of 2023 because it, it just captures everything that i love about the band and things that i never would have expected which i should expect from an insomnium at this point you know expect the unexpected so you know it's just like it's great to be able to see uh the, the reception that you've been getting for the single so far uh the album reviews that i've seen uh other press that's been going on and of course uh here in north america being soon to be going on tour with the mighty enslaved it's going to be so awesome to see that and it's just been awesome to be able to talk to you about everything in the world of insomnium and i thank you so much for that no worries man it was it was a pleasure it was nice nice interview and it's, again thank you thank you for your com uh compliments and it's great to hear that you like the album man. and you know come we'll see you at the show then Oh, absolutely. I, I definitely hope to make it. And yeah. uh, before before we wrap things up, is there anything else you'd like to mention that I hadn't brought up yet? Well, you're going to have new merch out as well very soon. A couple of singles coming out still. Check out those. Book your tickets. Come and see in some enslaved in North America. Lots of summer festival, lots of activities coming up. So, so, so yeah, Ho hope you enjoyed the album. Go Go check that out coming out late February so not 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 that long anymore so so hope hope to see everybody live on live shows and, and enjoy the music oh perfect great note to end on and again I thank you very much for uh, taking the time to be able to do this uh it's great to be able to catch up with you again after uh, many many years like uh, I was able to talk to you on uh said Epica tour when uh, yeah. you, you played in Minnesota and it's been a long time since then it's been able it's great to be able to catch up with you again since that time and be able to see the progression of Insomnium over the years and just being able to catch up so I thank you for that I thank you for this amazing album and for taking the time no worries, man. No, no worries, man. Hope to see you soon again.